When using mid journey, if I type in my prompt, I can create multiple sort of repetitions of that same prompt by typing in dash dash repeat. And I can go anywhere from one to 10 if I'm using a paid plan or if I'm using a $60 pro plan up to 30. So if I'm gonna repeat this say five times, it's gonna ask me if I want to create five prompts of cat made out of red jelly and I click yes. So after a few minutes, you can see it's produced one, two, three, four, and five of that image. And I can even go a step further with this. If I type in my prompt again, but this time I type in dash dash chaos 100, and then I simply hit enter, chaos will give me more variation between each of those images. So it's a great little tweak to add on top of that. Keep in mind, you can only use this feature while using fast hours and not relax mode. And now you can see we've created five again with a greater variation of images. Some of these looking a little strange uh, and this one in particular looking very disturbing. But you can see now we can create quite the variation between our images and create a whole bunch of images all at once, but that's not where it stops. I can still take that same prompt, but this time I'm gonna remove repeat five. And I wanna change the color of the jelly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in a curly bracket here and a curly back bracket there. These are called permutations. I type in comma, blue, comma, green, and hit enter. And you'll see it wants me to create three prompts. And it reads it here, but that doesn't necessarily give me a lot of an idea. If I hit show prompts, it shows me the three prompts it's gonna submit. A cat made out of red jelly, blue jelly, and cat made out of green jelly, because I've put them in these curly brackets with these commas. And of course, if I want to, I can edit the template if I want to change any of the information, but I'm gonna X out of that. Now I've canceled that template, so I can't actually click, so I'm gonna pop it in here again, a cat made out of curly bracket, red, blue, green jelly, hit enter, and this time I'm gonna click yes. So now I have a cat made of green jelly, cat made out of red jelly, and a cat made out of blue jelly. But we can still take this a step further. This time, I'm gonna add some style to the image. I'm gonna make the cat a certain style. So I'm gonna add in my curly brackets and type in and I can actually add in two lots of curly brackets. Keeping in mind, I can still only do a maximum of 10 because of my account. If you have the $60 Pro account, you can do a maximum of 30 prompts all at once. And this is a very good way to burn through your GPU hours if you go too nuts with it. But let's try this out. As you can see, I'm gonna show my prompts. So I can see I've got nine prompts here it's going to create based off that. So let's click yes. And so now I've got my Cyberpunk cat first, which is the blue, the red, and the green. And then my steampunk cat, which is red, then blue, then green. And then the glitch art cat, which is red, blue, and green again. If I go back up, you'll notice that because I typed in cyberpunk first, it creates all the variations of that, and then steampunk and then glitch art. So whatever order you put these permutations in, in the curly brackets, it will sort of create like a, a, a splinter out, splintering out in that order. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not. But uh, there's actually still more to it than that. I go to imagine. And this time I'm just gonna go with the blue cat because I feel like that looks pretty good. But I'm gonna go back to my cyberpunk. However, what I wanna do is actually combine the cyberpunk and the glitch art together. So if I take glitch art from here and pop it there, I want cyberpunk, glitch art, steampunk, but the comma is used to separate. All I need to do is add a backslash, that is one that is going from top left down to the bottom right before the comma, and it will include that comma. So now, if I click enter, I can show the prompts, and you can see a cyberpunk, glitch art cat, and a steampunk cat. So you can still include commas within those permutations. I'm gonna click yes. And now we have our steampunk cat made out of blue jelly again. And then our cyberpunk glitch art cat made out of blue jelly. Now, there's actually more uses to this than simply the description of the prompt. So if I type in yet another prompt, I can type in my curly bracket or I can type in something like dash dash AR. I can go space curly bracket one to one comma 16 to nine comma four to one 
and I can actually use this for commands and other codes as well. So now I hit enter. You can see it wants to create three prompts. I click yes. And now we have our one to one, our four to one, and our 16 to nine. So that's pretty cool. That's a very awesome feature for getting a lot of ideas and things out quickly if you're on a bit of a time frame. Remember, fast hours only. So if you burn up your GPU hours and have to go to relax mode, this doesn't work in relax mode. And you can only produce up to 10 variations at a time unless you have the $60 Pro plan, which can do up to 30 from what I've read. But uh, otherwise, that is an amazing tool, especially if you're busy and you wanna create a bunch of prompts really quickly. Uh, this is a game changer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I do highly recommend checking that out, having a play with it. Otherwise, if you like the video, give it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.